Hey guys, Doug here. I want to show you a little something I just finished up yesterday. Um, I call this the edge milling vise. And it um, has uh, hardened jaws. The top jaw has a leveling screw for whatever height you may be working there and um, you know, get it parallel with your work and of course then clamp it. Um, I made this because uh, my last post I put on uh, was a couple of carbide tool insert holders and they have this offset in here. This allows me to work up close to the chuck and the insert is inverted to the left three degrees so I can come straight out and square the shoulder up on my work. And it gives me clearance here for the chuck to, you know, not to hit the tool and the tool holder and all that kind of good stuff. So well, when I was making this carbide insert tool holder, I thought, well, you know, it'd be nice to have something to be able to clamp a piece of material on its edge and, and plunge in from the side and, you know, do whatever you got to do there, you know, your profiling or whatever. So that's what made me think about this tool here. Um... The jaw will slide in and out three eighths of an inch, uh, enabling you to, you know, work up close, turn at an angle, whatever you need to do there. Like I said, it has hard jaws. There's a shoulder back here to sit your work on. It has a key cut in the bottom of it for lining up with the T slot. And um, hang on, and I'll uh, show you guys how it works. Okay, welcome back. I uh, moved the camera around to this side so hopefully you guys can see better. And, uh, okay, let's turn the middle on and we'll just plunge in here. We'll plunge in about a quarter of an inch. Seems to be holding real good. That's a uh, four by one, forty-one forty annealed, not hardened. But that's got a pretty good clamp on it to take that quarter inch at one time and not move. When I get this cut here, then we're going to turn it around. We're going to want to cut up. We're doing this undercut right here now. And uh, when it gets done, then I'm going to shift it around and put a three degree parallel in there and kick the nose around and machine this angle here.
just done. So, I'm, it's almost done here. I'm gonna turn the camera off and reposition it. I'm gonna be right. Okay, here we are back. We're done with that uh, little uh, gouge cut there, if that's what you want to call it. Well, we're going to come back and um, now we're going to cut a three degree inverted point on this thing. We, we just cut this offset in here and that's what this vice is all about for edge machining and that's why I call it the edge milling vice if you will and um, basically what I'm doing only on a thinner piece of metal is showing you how I did this by clamping it on its edge and cutting this quarter inch deep uh, offset here to invert the point of the tool over now I'm going to come in and cut this three degree angle <clears throat> and the tool tip is tip three degrees this way and that's what we're going to do now is just cut this angle so what we're going to do is unclamp it and take that parallel out from under there and that parallel out then we're going to exchange it with this three degree a three degree parallel just put it back in against the jaws up against everything. <clears throat> there. I'll come in here and turn the mill on. And basically we're just going to touch off. more. Turn the power feed on. And there's our three degree angle. <clears throat> so now what I have done is showed you how I did the same thing on this tool holder. And there you have it, the edge milling vise. Thanks for watching.